Okay, Luke, well, I, I guess one of the most commonly known and, and probably commonly used types of live food uh, has to be crickets. What can you tell us about the crickets that you breed? Uh, well, I think what separates the crickets we breed to most of the crickets on the market is uh, we know that the nutritional requirement of a lizard is very similar to a nutritional requirement of chickens under three months of age. Uh, so instead of feeding our crickets on pig food, which most cricket breeders do, as it's a very cheap, cheap form of cricket food, we feed ours on poultry diet to make sure that the insects contain all the correct nutrition for your lizards. We breed three species of crickets. There's the banded um, cricket or tropical cricket. Uh, these are handy for wild caught lizards that uh, are attracted to movement as these crickets are quite quick moving and hop a bit. Um, we also produce the silent brown cricket which is the sort of standard pet shop cricket that people like to purchase. Um, but we also do the far superior and the breed, what is always the breeder's choice, the blackfield cricket. Reason being is the blackfield cricket are the largest cricket with the biggest ratio of meat to external skeleton out of all the three species. And the external skeleton is made of phosphorus, which is something we try to avoid in a lizard's diet. So the minimal amount of that, the better. Um, the only reason the black cricket is not the most popular cricket is because some people consider it to look like a cockroach. But if, the, if lizard keepers can get over that and realise the nutritional value, I'm sure the black field cricket will be the number one seller.